Okay, we are on 1.1. We're starting Algebra 2 here, and it's basically going to be a review of Algebra 1. So we're going to take a look at examples of some examples in this section. Um, first of all, when we are doing um, problems in this section, we got to make them all look the same before I can plot them. That's 2 over 5, or sorry, 5 over 2, um, which I can rewrite as a decimal. That's 2.5. Well, how does one do that? Well, you use what we love to call long division, right? It goes in two times. Got one left over. That's two and a half. So 2.5. Negative three halves. That's saying negative 1.5. For those of you who don't know that, I do long division again. There's a one. Bring it down because I subtract one and a half, but it's negative. Uh, that's why it's negative 1.5 and 5. So I just plot the points. If I put a zero here, um, two and a half, one, two and a half is right here. Negative one and a half, one and a half is right there. So it's negative one and a half and five. One, two, three, four, five, right there. And there are your points. Plotting these is just division again. Um, two and the seven with long division, it goes in three times with a half left over. So this is 3.5, but it's a negative. A half is just 0.5, and 3 is 3. So when I go and graph this, put 0 here, negative 3 and a half, 1, 2, 3 and a half, 0.5, right in the middle there, and 3, 1, 2, 3 is right there. And there they all are. Um, Three-fifths, figuring out what that is, um, and two-thirds, and seeing out where they are, right? Um, the best way I can say to do this is most people know of things in terms of uh, decimals. So if you can change this into a decimal that you might know, that might be a little better. Well, changing three-fifths into a number you might know. Um, you know things in terms of one-hundredths, right, as in like percents. If you multiply both the top and the bottom by 20, the bottom then would be 100, right? 5 times 20 is 100, which means multiply the top by that, you get 60 over 100. 60 over 100 is 60%, right? Or you would write that as 0.6. Two-thirds, all right? Um, splitting things into thirds. Um, that is a common decimal. That's 0 0.6666666 repeated. So we just normally round that to 0.67, which means this is a little smaller than that one. Three-fifths we can write by doing long division. Um, changing it into a mixed number and get one and two thirds, which means that's going to be one point six seven because it has a two thirds in it. So when I go to graph this, um, we'll say that this is point two five right here, and this is point five, and then this is point seven five, and this is one, and then we'll make this one point two five out here and one. 0.5. Only reason I'm doing that is to space it out. 0.6 would be about here. 0.67 would be about here. And then the 1.67 would be way out there. Would be where your decimals are in the number line. Writing them in order, um, increasing order. Once again, we have to change all these um, into um, the same types of things like fractions or decimals, etc., etc. And um, three-fifths we need to change then. So in order to do that, um, so we write this as um, a mixed number. That goes into it one time. So when we do that, that's one and two-thirds. One and two-thirds is what that is. So this is one and two-thirds. This I can change into, and I write that as a mixed number. It goes into it three times, so we got a six. Um, that is three and a half, but it's a negative. This I can change into three fourths, which is a one. I rewrite this one and one third, so that's one and one third.
So when I go to write these in order, I take the lowest number, and the lowest negative I happen to have is that one right there. So it would be negative 7 halves. That's the lowest negative I have. Okay. Then the next lowest negative is negative 2. Okay. Then the next lowest negative I have is negative 1. Okay. Then 0. Okay. These fractions are both greater than 1, so that means this fraction, which is not greater than 1, needs to be next. And then I'd write this, since it's 1 and 2 thirds, and that's 1 and 1 third, 4 thirds would come first, and then the 5 thirds, and there is everything in increasing order. Um, which property is each of these? Um, basically, this means I'm taking an item through. Remember, A times B is AB, A times C is AC, so this is the distributive property. Um, this is just you flip-flopping these, and when you switch things around like that, that is the commutative property. Um, this is finding the opposites. Um, or the inverses. This is those example of inverse. Um, and this right here is the associative property uh, because you're regrouping. Using the distributive property, this just means take the negative through, so you get negative 5x and a negative 7y. Take the negative through here, get negative 7x and negative 5y. Take the negative through here, get negative 2x and positive 9y. It's like switching the sign. And what property do we have going on here? Now it's just multiplication. This is regrouping, so that is the commutative property as well. And this, once again, since they are opposites, it's the inverse property. Inverse. Just uh, what the properties are. If you have any other questions or concerns on 1.1, just uh, let me know.